So this is the next question. One C that is two point charges Q1 30 microcoulomb and Q2 minus 100 microcoulomb are located at the points which are given by 205. Those are these are the values of x, y, z. Okay, and minus one, zero, minus two meters respectively. Okay, we need to find the force on Q1, force on Q2, and magnitude of both the forces exerted. Okay, that is force on Q1 due to this Q2 charge. Similarly, force on Q2 due to this Q1 charge, and whatever the force we get, its magnitude. Okay, yeah. So first, we need to first uh, force on Q1 that is represented as F21. That is force on Q1 with respect to Q2. Okay, the formula is uh, according to the Coulomb's law. The formula for force is Coulomb's law of force of attraction. Q1 Q2 divided by 4 by epsilon naught magnitude of R21 square into unit vector R21. So first thing we need to find the R21. That is R1 minus R2. Okay, then uh, R1 value is 2ax minus uh, plus 0ay plus 5az and R2 value is minus ax plus 0ay minus 2az okay after finding r1 and r2 we need to be computing for r21 okay that is r2 minus r1 minus r2 so 2 minus of minus 1 so that's why it is 2 plus 1 here also 0 0 it gets cancelled so this ay term would be vanished 5 minus of minus 2 that is 5 plus 2 okay so that's why r21 is 3ax plus 7az Similarly, magnitude of R21 that is coefficient square root of coefficient square, okay, that is square root of coefficient of uh, Ax is 3, so 3 square plus coefficient of Az is 7, so 7 square, 3 square is 9, 7 square is 49, 49 plus 9 is square root of 58. So this is the magnitude of R21. Similarly, using R21 and magnitude of R21, we can find the unit vector R21, that is formula is R21 divided by magnitude of R21. That is R21, whatever we got, write it, divided by magnitude of R21, that is 58. So now we have got some of the components which are required for this formula. Substitute in this formula, so that is F21 is equal to, as you can see that here, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, okay. That has a standard value, that is 9 into 10 power 9, so I have written it here, okay. And Q1, Q2 substitute it, that is 30 microcoulomb minus 100 microcoulomb, I have written it into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught divided by magnitude of r21 square that is square root of 58 square so that's why square and root would be getting cancelled we would be left with only 58 into unit vector r21 i have written it here 3x plus 7 is it divided by root 58 then uh, after multiplying 30 minus 109 we are getting 27000 into 10 to the power minus 3 that is 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 is minus 12 then we have plus 9 so that's why 10 power minus 3 then 58 into square root of 58 into 3ax plus 7az after simplification here here you can see that if we have 10 power minus 3 and 3 zeros so if we shift the, the decimal point 3 zeros before so that's why this 10 power minus 3 would be getting cancelled we would be left with only 27 divided by 58 into root 58 is 441.71 then 3ax plus 7az if we divide this term we are getting minus 0.061 then multiply this number with 3ax and 7az so this is the final answer for f21 force exerted force exerted on q1 due to q2 that is minus 0.183 ax minus 0.427 az okay similarly now next question is force on q2 right so we know that women's once we have found f21 the relationship between f21 and f12 is given as f21 is equal to minus of f12 okay so we need not find any force if you want you can find follow the same procedure and find for force on q2 or else we can write it f21 is equal to minus f12 that is whatever the sign would be changing here here if we have minus it would be plus here okay so that's why the answer is 0.183 ax plus 0.427 az okay so now we need to be finding its magnitudes so yeah magnitude of f21 so whatever the f21 answer you have got write it okay magnitude of f21 means coefficient square that is minus 0.183 square plus of minus 0.427 square so if we take the square and simplify here the answer we are getting for magnitude of f21 is 0 0.43 uh, 0 0.463 newton same goes for f12 the answer that would be the same because if we take the magnitude since the forces are same only one minus sign would be there if we take the minus sign along square the answer would be remaining as it is so that's why both the answers are matching here in place of a magnitude of forces okay that is 0.463 okay so this was the one simple problem if you want to refer the detailed concept of uh, this problem you can uh, refer uh, the coulomb's uh, law of force of attraction 
which we have done it uh, in our concept videos okay you can refer that as well it might be appearing on the top right of the screen now so click to that button and you can go and watch that video okay yeah so this was the answer for this Let so hello guys so as uh, you have demanded about uh, the model question paper solutions for the first subject that is the first exam for electronics and communication engineering fourth sem that is uh, electromagnetic theory okay so as you guys demanded we have provided you all the model question paper solutions for all the five modules okay of this subject okay so from this session we are going to start with the model paper solutions so stay tuned and uh, please like share and watch till the end okay and note down all the so, uh, solutions for all the questions okay yeah so this is the first question of set 1 state and explain the cylindrical coordinate system in detail okay that is we need to be explaining some of the few terms which are involved in this uh, cylindrical coordinate system okay for that uh, draw a rough three dimensional surface okay draw one surface of a cylinder or a rough conductor okay and the uppermost layer of the conductor that is the circle mark there it one radius as rho okay and here and also from this point here we can see one angle of 5 that is a, a 360 degree of one complete circle okay and the z coming out of this uh, surface is called as the outer surface of z okay so then the variables here used are in this case are rho phi and z where rho is the radius radius of the cylinder phi is the angle made by the inner surface and z is the height of the cylinder of the hollow conductor okay and we have the variable range for these uh, 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 components that is rho uh, the variable range of this rho is from 0 to infinity uh, for phi it is from 0 to 2 pi and for z it is from minus infinity to plus infinity okay so similarly we have go have having some of the unit vectors for this cylindrical coordinate system that is a rho vector a phi vector and a z vector okay also the differential length differential surface as well as differential volume is represented as differential length dl is represented as a rho plus a phi plus a z differential surface ds is represented as surface integral of d phi dz a rho okay that is taken two at a time okay then differential volume dv is represented as volume integral of d rho d phi dz with respect to some one uh, constant okay yeah so this was the basic uh, explanation of this first question that is state and explain the cylindrical coordinate system in detail so this might come for 6 to 7 marks in the exam okay so please uh, pause the video and uh, note it down that is uh, gauss law so we know that this gauss law that uh, we have studied this gauss law in physics also before Uh, this gauss law is basically the uh, outward electric flux uh, going out of a closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed between the surface okay so that's basically the definition for gauss law and also this surface the closed surface is also called as gaussian surface those are the things which we have learned and uh, we have learned about the electric flux as well uh, related to this gauss law these are all the things which we have learned uh, during the our classes of physics in uh, second pu as well as uh, first year for some of them you had first year in physics right so this is related to uh, electromagnetic theory okay the subject name so we are going to derive this uh, relation between the uh, electric flux and uh, charge okay so now let's uh, uh, get uh, ahead with the statement of gauss law gauss law states that the net outward flux coming out of the surface is equal to the charge enclosed okay so this is the statement of gauss law which you need to remember and also for this uh, elaboration i have also given you a diagram here so this is the closed surface or you can also call it as a gaussian surface where in this i have uh, randomly placed a charge q and this is the uh, medium where the outward flux is coming out and we have named it as a d that is the flux density and this surface is a uh, given as the vector of ds and this is the unit vector am okay and these are the directions where the uh, outward flux is generating uh, through this charge q okay in generally we can write it as psi is equal to q okay this is the meaning of this statement which you have read right now okay we need to prove now that this psi is equal to q okay so that how to prove So first thing that the same thing consider a point charge Q enclosed within a surface which I have already told you, and now 
uh, with this relation uh, we we have getting one quantity called as efd that efd means electric flux density okay which you have discussed in the first module itself okay so this electric flux density if you recall it it is given by it is generally given by d is equal to charge per unit area right but for in this case we can write it as d is equal to q by area is given as 4 pi r square into unit vector a r this is the relation you need to remember further we are going to use this for derivation purpose also okay yeah so for after this the electric flux passing through the surface s the electric flux passing through the surface s is within this medium d s right that is the surface integral so what we need to take we need to take a closed surface integral first okay d dot ds this also you are familiar with in the first module you have seen it that is given by double integral of 1 is from 0 to 2 pi and another is from 0 to pi q by 4 pi r square into unit vector a r that is the I have substituted the value of d okay here and also uh, the surface integral ds is given as in the uh, surface uh, integral that is given as a r r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so this, are, this is also another thing you need to remember using these two equations uh, using this equation the, I have substituted the value of d and the surface integral ds is equal to uh, vector a r unit vector a r r, r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so now we are going to further solve this equation that is take uh, integral uh, 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi you can take it in any order 0 to pi first or 0 to 2 pi first it's your choice okay so now we need to write q by 4 pi r square so this is xi equal to okay that is the electric flux is equal to q by 4 pi r square a vector r ar vector r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so here you can see that this r square and r square gets cancelled and also we know that uh, uh, a, uh, ar vector into ar vector that is the dot product of two same vectors which are having the same magnitude that also we know that it is equal to 1 so now uh, by further simplifying this what we will be getting take this q by 4 pi constant common outside this integral into this ar dot ar it becomes 1 right so which and all of the terms left right now sin theta d theta as well as d phi okay so now let's uh, separately integrate that that is uh, integrate that 0 to 2 pi is for d phi that is right integral of d phi into 0 to pi sin theta d theta okay so now what would this, this be q by 4 pi into the integral of d phi with respect to uh, phi is phi itself and the limits are from 0 to 2 pi into the integral of sin theta is minus cos theta and the limits are from 0 to pi here so now just substitute the limits q by 4 pi uh, two, this is upper limit minus lower limit right so 2 pi minus 0 into minus cos pi minus of minus that is plus cos 0 ok so now it would be q by 4 pi 2 pi minus 0 is 2 pi and cos pi is uh, uh, minus of cos pi that is minus of minus 1 cos pi value is minus 1 so it will be plus 1 plus cos 0 is again 1 ok so that would be psi is equal to q by 4 pi into 2 pi into 1 plus 1 is 2 right so this would be 2 pi into 2 that is again uh, psi is equal to q by 4 pi 2 pi into 2 is 4 pi so this 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled and uh, by this uh, these two equations we have got the relation 
that is xi is equal to q this corresponds to the our gauss law see by using the uh, electric flux density as well the, as well as the surface in the integral along with the uh, which is bounded through this electric flux density we have derived one formula we have written that which we have studied in the first module and we have uh, solved this equation in order to get the relation electric flux uh, outward flux coming out of the surface is equal to the surface uh, uh, of the equal uh, to the closed charge okay so this is your relation which you have derived so you can write it as hence prove so that's all about gauss law you can refer it down okay so this was about gauss law this derivation is very important so please make a note of it so let's get to the next concept